Welcome back to another Civilization 6 series. This one we're playing as the Scythian Empire. I am super excited for this challenge. I'm hoping it's a little bit of an easier one, but it actually, I made it a little tougher. So I'm back after traveling. Man, I've flown like 25,000 miles in the last like month. So <laughs> it's been, I've been anxious to get back at Civilization 6. That's enough miles to travel around the world. First of all, I would like to thank all of the new subscribers. We're at 1.66k. That is just crazy. That is just is nuts. It's more people in the town I grew up in. <laughs> it's just crazy. So what are we going to do during this episode? At the end of the last series, there's a poll. At the very, very end, if you're a committed viewer and watch there, you voted, hopefully. And what won was no government deity. So we're going to add it up. We're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to do no government and no governor because we don't need any of that. This idea was thanks to Rogue Wisdom. Where are you at? There you are. In the, uh, the worst start ever video. So we're doing that this one. Here is, we're playing as Scythia and here are the game seeds and stuff like that. Let's go. There are a couple things I'm really excited to play as the Scythian Empire. The first one is here. Receive a second light cavalry unit. When you, when you train one, that is just crazy. How awesome is that? You receive two for the price of one? Oh, my goodness. The second thing is, all units receive plus five combat strength. Whenever they're attacking woody units, we are finally will be on par with a DD bonus. I think the DD bonus for is plus four for the AIs. The third thing is this unique improvement. It gives plus one faith plus another faith if it's adjacent to a pasture. So we can hopefully get religious settlements soon as possible. Get all these cities. I'm just really, really hoping for a decent start and some horses. Let's <laughs> kind of a little nervous. Okay. Ooh, it's green. It's not plains. Yes. We're definitely going to harvest this stone and build a campus in the future. But as of right now, let's found our city. Animal husbandry. I'm really hoping there are horses around here, but I'm a little nervous. There are not that many tiles. But we're, we got to find some because we need to do that horse rush. Oh, <laughs> I just realized we're already getting a faith return from the dies. Oh, we're already at four. Okay, we're getting basically 25 faith as soon as we can. If we don't get religious settlements, I don't know what is going on. But we also found a nice tribal village over here. Oh, man, I really hope it's uh, free pop. To fo okay, 40 gold. 40 gold is good, especially at this point, stage of the game. Whoa, Great Barrier Reef. Oh, man. Oh, that's awesome. That's so close to our capital. Okay, this is a turn. We discover horses. Come on, horses. Please, please. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, a scout. Oh, uh, crap. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, we have, we'll go with Barbarian Encampment. Hopefully, the scout was from this one and not from somewhere over here. Mm, I'm a little nervous. Another recon unit down here? There are a lot of barbarians. Okay, we do not need to go for God King since we're already getting faith from the, what, dies or whatever it is when, when it's our borders. So we're just going to go for urban planning. For our civics, we're going straight for military tradition to get maneuver for the extra production towards light cavalry. That is definitely what we're going for. We're probably not, we're probably going to unlock the technology before we actually get that. So we're going to probably go for mining after we get archery. Oh, okay. Hmm, they are within striking distance of some nice horses. I like the sound of that. Here we go. We got our pantheon. Oh, there's a tribal village right there. Why did I not see that? Okay, okay. Is it there? Yes. Oh my god, this. It's there. It's there. All you have to do is get, you know, one faith per turn starting turn one. Come on, that's easy. For our tribal village by the Great Barrier Reef. Come on, Relic. Wheel. How do you know about wheels? Oh, India. Okay, they have those, what, horsemen that are just nuts. Where are they at? Okay, they're down southeast of us. There's a nice mountain range blocking them from us, but I think we can go for them too. Oh, I, can, I cannot wait to get horses. Oh, man. Here it is, our city next to the Great Barrier Reef. Let's see here, we're at 19 and we need 24. That's only five more error score. 
We could be close. That's three. Oh, man. We're close. For our third city, I decided to found it just right here. We're going to be somewhat close to our capital. The game recommends founding it a little further north or to the east, but we're just going to do the spot. I like this spot because it's, it's really protected from the south and can really only get attacked from the north. Even though attacking from the north is really not defended at all because there's no woods or hills so archers and stuff like that can attack from two, two tiles away. We are only two era score away. Wait, is it one era score? One era score away from getting a golden era. Let's just take out this barbarian cabin. A little bit of overkill, but now we got it. We got a golden era. Got horse for granted. We got our horse archer and horseman. Two more turns until we can get the maneuver and just start pumping out horsemen. Look at what Congo is up to here. They're definitely aching for war against us. So we're going to buy a horseman because archer do not make the cities any stronger. And horsemen, 36 combat strength. Look at that. Now this city is just adequately defended and it can also attack these warriors and just take them out. For our dedication for the golden era. I think we're going to go for a religion. Look at this. Four great profit points per turn. If we look, there are only two religions done. And we can see here, under player is still going for more. And more is the only one. So we still, we have easy. It should be easy to get this. And thankfully, they're this at normal era. So hopefully, when we take over their cities, we will not have any loyalty issues. Oh, what? Yep. That was expected to happen. They have, whoa. Whoa, four, five warriors around here? Okay, now things are a little dicey. Look at this combat bonus, so. Plus, it's 41 versus 28 because they're a little damage. Let's attack it there. And then once these units attack our city, oh, our horsemen's just gonna go boom, just take them out. They tried, they tried really hard. So what do we wanna do? Let's just take this one out. We don't want to move our horsemen out of the city because then it'll go down to 10 garrison defense strength. Or really like 29, but I just don't want to do that. So I did not even think this was going to be true. We can have the AI, we'll pay them one gold, but look at this. They'll give us one gold per turn to go to war. Oh, for them to go to war? They're paying us gold? Thank you so much, Katsumi Ocelot, for this tip. This one horseman is just so good. Okay, hey, let's go attack this guy. Bam. Oh, heal 30 health? I don't don't mind if I do. Warrior up here, Spearman. Oh, attack here. I'm to, wait, no, I'm not down to like 10 health. I'm at like 45. Oh, oh buenas. The Scythian Empire is a ton of fun. They keep trying. They keep trying. We keep healing. Look at that. Full health. Full health and a promotion. <laughs> Oh, man. I do not like how low our city is right now, but we still have to kill these things. Okay, down to like one health. And we have 36. Okay, that is why I went to the city first. Just to increase the garrison, garrison defense strength and then attack the unit just in case we didn't kill it. All right, this one horseman took out five warriors and it's all thanks to this nice healing bonus. I am. I want to make sure. Okay. Did not see that there. Oh man, I still do not like this in here. Uh, attacking this heavy chariot, and we're also going to move this here. I do not want this slinger to go after this city. Okay, please do not take this over. What What are you talking to me for? Stop talking to me. Oh man. That was stupid close. This is great. This is so good. Okay. This heavy chariot has a two movement points, so they cannot attack our city because it takes two to get over river. Secondly, we have a horseman here. Boom. Bye. Next turn. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Okay, wait, wait. I gotta move around. Oh, nice to meet you. Next turn, watch this. Oh, also, we might get the city to the right, but, but you know. Okay, watch this. Oh, come on, game. Why, why are you doing this to me? Oh, you moved there? Hey, guess what? Bam, two horses. Oh, what do you think about that? Now you're surrounded. By horses. So let's just go like this. Let's go like this. Ho oh, ho ho. Plus four flanking bonus. Okay, let's just take this guy out. See you later. And we're gonna heal. Done. Oh. Oh, Congo. What did you do? What are you building for us? Is this a good one? Hmm. A banana. 
up on a banana, buy some bananas, and then a mine. And the next turn, look at what we have in our capital. More horse archers. Oh, yeah. A great person. Oh, yeah, our great prophet. Yes, recruit Zorstar. <laughs> and we have nowhere to put him. Oh, man, I didn't think about this. Uh-oh. I guess we better research astrology so we have somewhere to put our great prophet. Hmm. And he's no longer... Okay, are we going to get the city or Congo? Yes, we're going to get it. How? That is... Oh, that is amazing. And we got... Oh, we got more horsemen. Let's just attack this city. I think it's ours. Maybe even next turn. Why do, why do I always my neighbors I always choose oligarchy? That is just... Just not fair. Let's just take over this city. So this is what we have to do to take out these stupid units in their forest. This one gets double flanking bonus. 12. Look at that. That is just crazy. Oh, I probably should attack with the archer first. But man, that is a lot of flanking bonus. This one, we're just going to move. Okay, good. It killed it. It killed it. And it healed. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. Oh, I hope these guys move off these stupid hills and down here. Here we go. I think we can we take this unit out. We can attack with this archer. Attack with this archer. And then we'll first attack with this unit for the huge flanking bonus and the less damage you take. And then this one should heal right up. That is how we take it down. Only four attacks needed. Oh no. Treasury's bankrupt. Oh man. Uh-oh. Looks like we have another one of their cities. Come on, Congo. We got it. We got it. What's the loyalty? Eight turns? Ugh. This loyalty thing is... Okay, 30 turns, and we're actually getting loyalty? Okay, that is great. Okay, looking at our current situation right now, I think it's okay. We definitely have a gold problem. We're losing 3.8 gold per turn, and we only have six left. It's primarily due to all this unit maintenance. See, a horseman costs two gold per turn to maintain. So we got a little bit of an issue. Other than that, in science, we're actually doing okay. We're in fourth place, and we've got, what, 14.7 science per turn, and we do not have a single campus yet. As for victory condition in this game, I am not sure yet. I don't know how well this horseman rush is actually going to do in the mid to late game. We're going straight for castles to upgrade our units to our Corsairs. Next, and we definitely need even more gold for that. So we need to kind of build up our infrastructure a little bit. We're going to build a holy site right over here once we have enough gold in the future. Gold's kind of our limiting factor right now. Okay, political philosophy, excellent. Unlock the government. Pass. We don't need any government in this game. Okay, just had to sell our dice. Now we're only minus, what, 0. 0.3 gold per turn? Ooh, oh, man. Oh, yes! We can plunder the trade route. Okay, our gold issues are saved. We also just got this city. Oh, man. Is that one of the vi Virus nearby? Uh-oh. I really hope India does not attack us, because that one Viru can easily take this city. Oh, man! Brazil will give us, what, three, four gold? Four gold per turn? Oh, man. What What is going on here? Brazil will give us six gold per turn for them to clear war on Congo. 100% taking that. Whoa. What is... Oh, no. They have crossbowmen now. Ooh, these guys. This can be kind of an issue. Okay, this has been super tricky. I attacked the crossbowman with this archer. I moved this horseman to the right. And I moved this horse archer one to the right, too. Then attacked this crossbowman. I attacked this horseman across a marsh that you just saw, which it might die because there's a crossbowman up here and two swordsmen. But now, uh, our flanking bonus is still not great enough to take this thing out. We're still going to attack it. Uh, I, don't, I don't like doing that, but we kind of have to. For this unit, we're going to go... Let's see, this is three movement costs. Let's, let's just heal this thing with a promotion. Okay, this is tricky. They are, their crossbowman attacked our archer at 100% health, and it just died. And this thing's at like 10 health. It is, it's just not fair. What we're going to do is we're kind of moving our units around. 
I don't think this crosswoman can move here and attack our units this turn. So we're just going to go for it. I kind of, we just have to go for the city and it's going to be a lot of sacrifices. We can attack with this unit there. And also, do we want to lose this unit? That's what's going to happen if we attack it. Uh, we just have to. I think we're just going to take their capital and then peace out next turn. We're just going to chop. What we're going to do here is we have the horseman queued up. So we're just going to harvest this woods. There we go. Got our plus three error score. And we can found our religion. <laughs> Moo, we found our religion. For our religion belief, I think we're just going to go. I mean, amenities would be good. Relics, eh. We'll go for choral music because I've never really gone for that before. I I don't know what we're gonna do this game. It's it's we could do church property. That's pretty good. This is okay. Uh, we could just choose holy order. Yeah, let's just try that. Oh, we're gonna probably lose two or three units this turn. Okay, we only lost one. Oh, that's like the best case scenario. We are definitely moving this horseman over here. Okay, this is the one that's going to take the city. I think we can take the city. We can take it. Yes, we got their capital. Yes. Oh, whoa. Look at all these barbarians up here. <laughs> oh, no. Those are a lot of barbarians. Why are these now? Hmm. Okay, now it actually, it should be actually fine. I Congo wants us to pay them for gold. Let's see what our income is. 14.9. We can afford that. We kind of have a barbarian issue up here. If we look at Congo cities, they just have one kind of city sitting up all by its lonesome up here with a nice looking iron mine and some oranges. But I think their other, they have a couple of cities like right here and right here. And then that's all they have left. Governor. Pff, we don't need a governor. So we're going to accept that peace, peace deal. I just don't want them attacking with this crossroad to take out one of our units because that's just going to, that'll just hurt too much. We're going to change up our policies a little bit. We're going to go for conscription. This is going to get us a lot of gold per turn. And we'll keep the production towards builders because we desperately need a lot of builders around here. There are a lot of unimproved tiles. All right, medieval era. This is, uh, let's see what's going on with our dedications. Okay. India has a golden age. Mori's at a golden age. Congo's still at a normal age, even though we absolutely decimated them. And Brazil's at a normal era. For our dedication, we are 100% choosing the Exodus one because two era score for each time we convert a city. We only have one city that's our religion. This is going to get us, basically get us golden ages, hopefully for the rest of the game. World Congress is meeting and I'm really hoping for mercenaries companies to pass. Yes, production. Oh, that is so good. And no, this is exactly what we voted for. Great writer and production. Oh, that's, was that two? Two diplomatic victory points? Yes. Uh-oh, this kind of be this could be kind of a problem. We can only vote one against this military emergency. And we're not gonna do Eurovan. We don't want to go with War of India, but it might actually happen. Oh no, it bit passed. Three people voted yes for it. Okay, India, oh no, India and Congo. And I'm having some loyalty problems with Congo's former capital. It's not too bad. It's minus four. I'm hoping when we improve these spices, it'll change the course for us and actually make everything easier. Ooh, man, this is, this is dangerous. One horseman up here, but thankfully, oh, there's another crossbow, man. Oh, man. Let's just take care of all this stuff. All right, Splendid Camp is done, and they didn't, they weren't able to kill our horseman up here, which is probably the best news. And we got more air score for that. I wonder, actually, do we get healing from this? We do! That is the best thing. And we can still attack this crosswoman right here. Let's completely surround it. Let's go like this. This one. I don't think we're going to be able to kill it, though. Oh, we can kill it. Yes! And it healed. Oh, that's like the best turn ever right there. Okay, this is a little tricky. Okay, I want to take out the crosswoman. So we're going to move everything here, here, and here. This unit is probably going to die from this crossbow man, but what we can do is do a range attack here to make our units even stronger when they attack this unit. And then attack with this horseman. Okay, 
Crosswoman is done. If this one just kind of sits there or actually takes our worker, it would probably be ideal. Then we got this thing down and then we can go after this city. The Crosswoman just sat there and did not kill our unit. That is the like the best case scenario. Let's see here. Can we take it out with this two? We can just take it out with two attacks or maybe just one. Oh, so close. So close. I do not want to attack with this one because then this Congo, the Congo's unique unit can easily come there and kill this thing. So let's move this one away and just finish it off here. And now we're getting loyalty. Yes, we're gaining loyalty. Oh, man. It, I was close to actually calling it and saying, hey, I think we need to put a governor there just to get the loyalty. But it looks like we're okay. Starting to attack this city up to our north. We might lose another horseman, but... I think we just have to do this to take the take over this city. Their crossroadman took over the builder bait, which was good, which is good for us. It looks like they got another crossroadman up here, which actually almost killed our units. But, ooh, this is we can take the city, but at what cost? At what cost? Oh, can we not take the city? Oh, we cannot take the city. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we definitely lost one of our other units. Ugh, now the city's going to rebel again, but we can take over take over this city, which is probably the more important part. There. We got this city, and we can move this unit back in here, and there. Now we're going back to full loyalty. Oh, man. We're having a barbarian spawn right here. We have a barbarian campaign right here, and another one up here. So I'm kind of building some walls around here just to make sure nothing really, really bad happens. But it looks like we need to change things up. And next turn, we'll build some horsemen. We can get Brazil to go to war with Congo again, and they'll give us 119 gold. The mighty Varus are coming, but they're... Oh, no. Can we not get it? Yes, we can get it. Oh, what? We couldn't get it? Oh, goodness. Whoa, look at all these swordsmen. How did you move and heal in the same turn? What is going on? Let's just take you out. Make sure we get our flanking bonus. And then, I guess, we just go for it. Oh, can we not get it? Oh, we got it. Come on, really? Again? Ah! Uh, I don't know what the AI is doing, but they are pretty bad at attacking our cities. We can take out... Yes, take this one out. We have walls. India has not been able to launch some offensive because they keep skipping the city, and we keep pinging them along the way and just damaging them, which has just been great. Holy smokes! Look at all these units around here. We're having quite the battle. It's on three fronts right now. Up to the north, Congo still. We got walls in their old formal capital. And we got an archer sitting right here, but they're paying away three crosswomen per turn at our district over here. So this district is not going to last too long. We also upgraded two of our horsemen to Corsairs, and they've been taking care of the India problem to our southeast. But now India, this has a couple of crosswomen. And if we actually look at them, they're at war with Congo and Pedro. And we can see here, these walls are damaged primarily because there was a flooding. I think these have actually been damaged from Brazil, but I'm not 100% positive on that. To our southwest is the Barbarians. The Barbarians are <laughs> actually not too big of a problem. It's just more of a minor annoyance than anything else. We're going to change our policies up a little bit. Let's go for a question order so we can get more horses per turn and even more iron so we can upgrade our warriors to swordsmen. Additionally, let's just go for natural philosophy, get the additional science. Let's see here, 33.4 up to 39.4, so six science return. That's, that's okay. Come on, light cavalry, light cavalry. Major flood. Oh, another flood over there. Ranged. Oh no, range get plus five combat strength. We're the only one that voted for Light Cavalry. That's a bummer. And industrial city states get a nice bonus for a trade route. Another flood. Wouldn't it if our empires? Man, there's a ton of flood. Thankfully, we successfully defended this military emergency and we just got machinery. Now we can upgrade our archers. We're just going to peace out with the Indian Empire. I do not want to have to deal with them. And now. We can just tr do some trades and get some more gold return. Can five gold return? That is great. Another flood, man! It's like a flood here every other turn. 
We'll also accept peace with Congo just so we can kind of focus on our economy a little bit because we're getting a little bit behind. I want to kind of focus on our economy and also move our units to the south to go after India. It wouldn't be it would be actually nice to found a city like right here, here, and another one over here, but man, look at all these barbarian units that we need to take care of. Just unlock professional army. Let's 100% choose that. Gold is our limiting factor right now, not resources, so we're going to choose gold to discount everything. And then the first thing we'll upgrade, I guess, we'll just upgrade these archers. There are literally a billion barbarian units around here, but now, now we have the brunt of the Corsair, and it's so fun. When these things heal, they get stronger as they take out more barbarians. All right, the Renaissance era, the era we actually rid this world of barbarians. Look at, think, look at this. Thankfully, the Mori and Congo are in a dark era. Brazil and the Indian Empire, and there's still three civilizations we have no idea who they are. We're going to stay for the Exodus dedication because we're going to still get some more era score from that. We still have a lot of cities to convert, and we're finally building temples, and we're getting a decent amount of faith return. Maybe we can actually get a religious victory this game. We have a lot of niter. Look at this. Okay, we have one to our north by Congo's former city. Another one here and another one here. All with our city borders, basically. All right, let's rid the world of this barbarian encampment. Oh, that feels so good. Just unlock chivalry. Let's change over to that. We got a lot of the upgrades we already want, except for really the warriors. And that one are kind of limited by iron. So we're going to go with this one because we're going to start building a lot of Corsairs and we're going for our technology. We're going straight for cavalry. That's what we're doing. Military science, getting this done, getting these things upgraded in the first thing in the industrial era. Oh, man, we're going to do it. We're going to declare formal war on India. Let's just full out attack this city. These walls are actually kind of an issue with our horsemen, but... Uh, I think, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking. I don't think we can actually get the city this turn. Oh, what? We got it? No way! I did not think that was going to happen. Definitely get Coupe involved in this war with India. They'll pay us five gold per turn. Oh, perfect! World Congress is about to meet. And that means it'll be a military emergency against us with this city. Which will definitely help out our loyalty issues because it gives you plus 20 loyalty per turn. One of the reasons I did convert all these cities before taking over, as you can see here, following your founder religion, you get plus 3 loyalty per turn. If only there were some amenities around here, that would be a plus, another plus 3 instead of a negative 3, and then we'll already be getting loyalty per turn. It passed. It looks, it doesn't sound like Congo actually voted for it. Okay, it's only India. Moving in with our Corsair army, and we are pillaging everything along the way. Let's see here. They did... Ooh, that's a quite a bit of damage. We well, might be able to take them out. I gotta kind of surround the city here. Let's see. Please don't kill our unit. Okay, the knight came down to play. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> three air score for converted their city to our civilization. We're running away with our units this i do not want the, this stuff to die brazil will also pay us for the right for them to go to war with india so we'll accept that we're also going to do an alliance a military alliance let's see here two gold per turn the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unlock forbidden city in three turns and i think it's still available the very last thing i'm gonna do this turn is i'm gonna sell 50 of the diplomatic favor for a decent chunk of change, 26 gold per turn is always is always nice to have. We're going to need a lot of gold to upgrade all of these units to cavalry or whatever they are in the future. My current plan right now is to take over Mumbai and maybe move to this city, but it's going to be kind of difficult. So what we have is, we have it's a pretty big continent I'm looking at, and we actually need, have not explored much of it. It looks like there's a culture city-state right here, so I'm going to send one of our horse units down through here and kind of have to start exploring, figuring out what is going on. For maybe a future domination plan, I'm thinking bombers, because bombers are just awesome. But to get there, we need to really accelerate our science. Then we can have military engineers follow the herd of horse armies or tanks or whatever they are at the time, and then lay down airstrips, transport, transport our planes to those airstrips, and then attack whatever is near there. 
that would be a lot of fun in the future but in order to get there we need to kind of build up our science a little bit more and i really really want to go i really want to get nationalism because this will make things these units just just nuts there we go unlocked forbidden city we're going to start working that right away with the capital is it available it's still available 58 turns though Ooh, this is gonna be a close one we're gonna chop some forest and First, we're going to put a couple of mine here and a lumber mill here, and then we'll chop these jungles down. Oh, we have Mumbai officially surrounded. This is going to this is gonna hurt a lot. Ooh, I don't know if we can actually take it over with these horsemen. But good thing we have a couple backups on the way. So let's see what happens down here. Oh, they bought a pikeman? Another pikeman? Oh, that was like the worst case scenario. Now that they have pikemen, I'm going to back up this turn. We took some damage off the walls. This one is unfortunately kind of like in the middle of nowhere. It's time to start pillaging these rainforests for Forbidden City. Two turns off? Oh man, that is actually not that good. Oh no, Forbidden Palace is already taken. Oh man, what should we build now though? Let's go for our spy in our capital and then get the government plaza and then a settler. Our world falls into a darker. I'm looking at all these. Okay, Congo. Oh, former capital. We're losing loyalty now, which is definitely not a good thing. Let's see why. Heroic age for Coupe. Come on. Okay. For our dedication, we're just going with two arms. Looking at the better report screen, it looks like natural philosophy would still be good. 11 science return, so that is 100% war changing for. We don't really need Gothic architecture anymore since we lost the Forbidden City race. We also go for a professional army because we're about to unlock the cavalry and upgrade all of our units. There we go, military science, cavalry. Oh man, let's see how much it is. Only 135 gold. That was kind of holding back with our units just so we can do this. We can do basically all of them. Yes. This is what I wanted to see. Now we should be able to take over Mumbai pretty easily. I just realized building the government plaza is a bad idea because the way you unlock the other buildings is actually having the governments. And since we don't have the governments, this is just, just a pointless building. Got a great person? Great scientist. Okay. Uh, do we want Galileo? That is that is a question. Let's just take it. Take it. We need we need uh science. We need to catch up. Get our bombers. This is actually a decent attack now. Look at this. Okay. Oh, this is what I like to see. I just queued up bombards and musket men. So let's just use Galileo right here. There, apprenticeship done, stirrups done. Oh, so many technologies done right there. They're trying, but look at this. Okay, down to one health here. Oh man, that was actually pretty close. Take over Mumbai, got gunpowder. Oh yes, yes. It looks like the loyalty is definitely going to be an issue with this city though. Wait, we have two military policies? Does this have? Oh, this is Alihambra. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, goodness. Now we can actually get the loyalty one. Where is it? Where is it? Two loyalty per turn. Yes. We're also going to change professional army for retainers to get the plus one amenity. Let's see how our loyalty is in this city. It's only, it's minus one now, which is a little bit better. A plus four campus over here? Oh, yes. Let's just get rid of that stupid copper. Oh, it did, it did come out. It came out to play. Can we, we can't attack at this turn though. That is the worst part. Oh, we can. Yes. There, converted Congo's entire civilization to the Mu religion now. There, now our loyalty over in Congo's old capital is much better because they're following our religion plus three. That definitely helps things out. Coupe was about to found a city. Oh, and they have a Toa army. We're definitely founding this city right here. We got here just in time. The reason I want to found it here is because we get the whales, a nice luxury resource. Let's see here. What are they can? What where are they can found the city now? 
they can still find it right there. So let's make it pretty inconvenient for them by buying these dies. Our spy made it over to Porto Alegre. Let's gain sources and then siphon funds and hopefully we'll level them up and then we'll go start stealing technology around the world. Now come on, please. Oh, no. The Brazilian unit converted Mumbai over to Catholicism. This will definitely hurt our... Now we're 7.8. Minus, oh no. I did buy an Apostle up here, but I don't think it's going to get there in time. Yes, it's cheaper. Yes, it makes, this helps us out so much. And I'm a player gets a plus one trade row capacity. And we finished two more cavalry right here. Oh man. I like when I finish just one unit of cavalry because you get two. And it's the best day. And two more up here. Oh man, yes, this is so good. So good. And two more up here? The same turn? What? What? Is this real life? Is this... <laughs> You're all going to India. I hope you like India. I hope you like curry. I just realized we're losing a lot of gold per turns. And we're not... It's basically because of our trade routes expired. So let's renew all those. Military emergency just stopped. This is actually helping us out quite a bit. 200 diplomatic favor. This is great. Let's ask Brazil. Ask for promise. Promise not to convert my cities. No. Oh, goodness. Brazil. This actually really hurts us so much. Whoa, major defeat. Oh, let's run away. But we're still, we're going to take over this city. Ooh, yeah, we got it. Definitely raising the city, the loyalty was just too much of an issue. We are 100% going to lose Mumbai this turn. It's... Let's just see how bad it is. 56 garrison defense strength down to or up to... 49? Is that 49? Okay, yes, we can deal with 49. That is not a problem. Oh, a couple of our cities are losing loyalty now. Oh, not this one. No, 5.1. Oh, well, we have cavalry on the way to take out these muskemen and re retake over our city. Oh, no. Australia's in this game? Oh no, how are they doing? Okay, 67 science return. Okay, we lost our musket men. Yeah, university, whatever. Let's see here. Coupe is in first, Australia. Okay, they're not completely dominating. Oh, that is that is good news. I decided to focus our efforts on Mumbai since they have a couple of pike and shots right there. And we're about to get nationalism in three turns. So that'll make our units, we can just combine them in two cores and they'll be really strong then. Before we get Mumbai back, let's attack this free city unit for their free XP. And then now, let's get Mumbai back. Get our military policy slot. We'll keep the city for sure just for that. Now, we need to figure out our loyalty issues. This hurts so bad. We have to get the loyalty one, the amenity one, and another amenity one to get rid of... Oh, it's just, this just hurts. This just hurts. 81? Just defense now? Whoa, whoa, that is huge. Let's rearrange some of these units with a cross from it in the city. Now we hurt this one and now our combat bonus should be much, much higher against this thing. Piece of cake. So India will still offer us peace. They'll give us a relic and a work of writing. I think we're just going to accept. We need to kind of recuperate or really Get another bombard down there. Three, one, okay, we'll take that. We need to get our bombards down there to take out these walls, and then we should be able to take the city. Mumbai, yep, gone again. That's how it goes. Yes, we just siphoned funds from Brazil, and we got 480 gold. The best part about that is our our spy got a promotion. Come on, be a good one. What do we have here? Group partisans, take some time, or breach dam. Ah, we'll do disguise. All right, we got Mumbai back again. There it goes. The city flipped again. Same old thing. Inscription and in natural philosophy. A tribal village? On turn 193? Goodness. I was looking and Yerevan only has 25 city defense strength. All oh, the walls. The walls are going to take about 50 turns to get rid of. Yep, 
We're just pillaging this stuff. I'm actually going to kind of cheese this a little bit. I'm going to wait till they spawn that worker and then take the city back over. Here it is. Okay. I'm hoping for something really, really good. Let's see. Do we have anything open? Let's move this somewhere else. Okay. Come on, Relic. A free builder. Eh, yeah. I mean, we, we'll take it because we definitely need builders around here. There's our free worker. Let's grab that thing right away. And then I guess we'll just take this city back over. Oh, that Taj Mahal was unable to finish in our capital. Oh, that's not good. Gain three governor promotions. Yeah, this one's kind of pointless for this playthrough. We can still do the great library. Ah, four turns. It might just be worth it now. Yeah, we'll just do the Great Library. Let's do a little thing here, Manage Citizens, and let's swap some of these tiles. So now when the city flips back over, we'll actually have these tiles to work. Yep, we lost Mumbai. Shocker. Did not see that coming at all. <laughs> we will not, we'll never be able to keep that city. Another thing got production? We weren't able to get the Great Library? Come on. Oh, man. We can't get any wonders. I guess we'll just go for a cavalry because that'll be, uh, at least, you know, we'll get two units from that. All right, we're actually going to take over Yervan and we're going to liberate it back. Can we get it? Yes. We're going to liberate this city. So I've been doing some looking around, kind of figure out where we're at, what victory we might eventually go for. Domination would probably be really tough, mostly for the loyalty, but maybe we'll end up, you know, doing that anyways. Other than that, we could probably do a science victory. We have 34 technologies and the leader only has 36. We're actually doing okay for science. What I did is I switch over our technology. We're gonna try to get Oxford University. We're gonna get a wonder this game, I'm telling you. We're actually having a lot of problems additionally with getting into a lot of dark arrows. We are missing on a lot of error score by missing the governments and the governors and fully promoted governors and all that stuff. So this is actually kind of rough. I think what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go to war with India. I'm going to back these units up a little bit. And now we have three Bombard Corps right here. We have another Cavalry Corps coming down here. And we have Mumbai to take over one more time. We'll just wait. We could take it over this turn, but I think we'll just wait one turn. So let's wait one turn and then... No, let's just declare war right now. We'll do Casa Spell. We'll do Holy War. We just took over Mumbai so we can get this extra policy slot plus four combat strength when a non-religious unit fights a civilization that follows another religion. It's going to be so good for us. Moving up here and we're just, we're pillaging. We can pillage again? And again? Wait. Do we pillage everything in one turn? Does this have the, okay, it has a pillaging thing. Only costs one movement point. That's like 300 something culture. That is, we can move back. Oh, we can't. Oh, that would have been, been a little too strong, I guess. World Congress is meeting. Let's do spies. Operator function at two levels higher. We're definitely going for stealing some tech boosts. We'll put a few votes into that. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. We're going to go, I think, Coupe. A lot of people just went to war with Coupe. Where are you? Where's Coupe? Down here. So I think Coupe, this might actually pass. Yes, it did pass. Oh, both of them. Yeah. That is great. Let's see how we're doing. We're actually at 6 out of 20 diplomatic victory points. Hmm. Yeah, they're really not... Okay, yeah. That that was expected to happen. But they're really not doing too much damage to us. Only about 9 or something like that. We can kind of surround this one. Let's start moving in and keep moving in with our Bombard cores. We need to get this, those things on the road. Yeah. Tick. Oh, what? We didn't finish it? That is going to happen. Oh, that's why we didn't finish it. Oh, I forgot to have Wars of Religion in there. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta stuff up my game. All right, Natural Philosophy, done. Oh, they're close. They're actually doing a lot of damage to our units, but they're not killing anything. And they moved, that's the best part. They moved their cavalry out of this capital, so now it's much weaker. Look at this. Bombard almost took all the walls out. That is exactly what we wanted to see. For this unit, let's look here. We're at 47 health. We won't lose much health, but we gained 30. So now, let's see, 65, yeah. Doing a little bit of re-maneuvering here because I want to have 
this spot right here, this iron mine open. So I want, but I also want to kill this pike pen. I want it open so we can actually move our bombards when it's range of this city. And this one right here, we can just, we'll just promote you. Pursuit, pursuit is always really, really good. Yes, bombard that one. We're going to move this one a little closer and then promote it. We're definitely going for crew weapons. And this one are coming in, coming in hot too. It's going to be great. I really, really want to convert this city before we take it over, just so we get the nice, nice, uh, dip, or nice, uh, era score. We met all civilization? Okay, Persia is the last one. Interesting. Now, oh yes, we will not fall to a dark era. Oh, I feel so good. You don't know how good that feels. Let's just, this, this one, Apostle, not be a majority religion. Triple strength, okay. We're just doing it once. Come on, this one will do it. This will... Yes! I guess we didn't need to do that for the error score, but... And we got a great scientist. Okay, I gotta think about that one real quick. Okay, there have not that been that many great scientists recruited this game. We've actually recruited a third of them. We're getting 14. Let's just recruit this, and I'm really hoping it's not Albert Einstein. Oh, it's... Okay, good. Charles Darwin, you're a crappy one. That is fine. Escape route? Uh-oh. Our spy got caught trying to steal technology. Ballistic seekers. Oh, we need those. Yes. Yes, we got it. Oh, ballistics. And we're doing it. We're taking over this city. Let's check here. This one is owned by... This city right here. Okay. Let's just attack it once for their free XP. And then let's take over this city. Okay, loyalty is going to be a problem. But now we could probably take over this city and not have loyalty be an issue for Mumbai. Is that going to be is that going to be true? The good thing is we have so many bomb barbs here. We we could probably take Delhi in probably three or four turns, even though they have 92, 300 fortification health. Oh man, they're at 300 now. Uh oh. Okay, this might take a little longer than I initially thought. Okay, looking at this loyalty, it's minus. 6.8 you have no amenities so we can get a minus we can get a plus three for that to be happy so that would be plus three and then a plus another two would be five so be minus 1.8 is probably the best we can do without a governor oh wait this city's on a different continent well that changes things we have to go for exploration three loyalty per turn for cities on an original continent we're switching up our civics to get exploration Eight turns. Okay, I think we can delay it enough just to get that. Retainers, natural philosophy. We're going to keep natural philosophy just because we really need the science. Let's look. It should be minus, minus 1.8. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this now. Wait. Just wait till next turn. It'll be like minus 20. It'll be like, ah, oh, all this time wasted. World Congress is about to meet. I know what that means. Oh, yes. No more loyalty issues with India's capital. Because it's going to be a military emergency against us. As expected, here it is. We're just going to vote in one. I wonder if Congo's going to vote yes this time. I really hope it's not a lot of people. Okay. Curtain. Coupe. It's just Coupe. That's it. We can deal with... Coupe's so far away. And Coupe's basically at war with the entire world already. If we look at them. Okay, where's Coupe at? They're at war with basically everybody. For our dedication... Back to two arms. That's just so good for us. Okay, more promotions. Man, I think we got India's number. Let's see here. They're down 168. Okay, another more war going on. We got colonial offices, which we don't actually need anymore because this city's already, already amazing. But let's just keep attacking another one of India's cities. This is actually taking a while now with all this 300 garrison defense strength. New government unlocked. Oh, that's great. Pass. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a little worried that Coupe might attack our cities on the coast. So what I'm doing is I'm moving my archer here and then our lone last horse archer up to this city and then unlocking field cannons and we can upgrade both these to field cannons and field cannons with actually walls and we should be okay. Okay. Looks like Congo is actually competent. Oh, we lost our unit. Oh, yep. They're over here. The privateers are here, but it's just one privateer. We can handle one privateer. What is this? No, really. Potala Palace, we didn't get it. Oh, man, why? Why are we so bad at wonders? 
Why? Okay, they're doing damage. Look at how much our stuff's gonna heal right now. Oh, we're, oh come on. Go back. I wanna see how much it heals. 35, yes! This medic promotion on the Apostle is pretty sweet. Our bomb bars, can we, do we take these walls out? Oh, they still have a little bit of walls left. We wanna attack? Let's just attack. Uh, yes, I got rid of the walls. Wait, four out of 30? Uh, I don't know if I wanna attack with that unit. Let's bring one of these in here. One out of, actually, can we take this city over? Can we take this city over? We can take it over! Just like that, this city's ours! Industrialization is coming! Do we have coal? Oh, we have a lot of coal, yes. Two sources. Okay, one right there. They're both right by Congo's former capital! I just hope this bombard actually survives. No, it didn't! Man! Their, their bombard strength is this nuts! Unlocked our policies. Let's see here, what are we doing with this city? We're minus 4.8. Let's change some of our policies up. Oh, we're losing so much gold per turn. Colonial offices and then Illuminati. Let's see here. This should help out with all of our loyalty issues. Minus 2.8. It's That can't be right. That cannot be right. Oh, we're still losing loyalty in this turn. Oh, it's because we don't have our religion over here. That's why. Go over here. There we go. Get rid of this stupid other religion. Only point two. That is much more acceptable. No tech boost to steal anymore. Oh man, are we crushing it that much? Can we send you to? Let's send you to somewhere one of Mori's cities, I guess. Brazil's wait. Thirty nine, forty, forty two. We're actually not doing too bad with technology. Yes, gaining loyalty. In this city over here, oh, finally. We don't even have a monument there? Oh, man. I'm saving all of our gold because we're going to buy an observation balloon as soon as we get flight. And then we can start taking Delhi from safely three tiles away. Wow, Congo. I, Congo has been secretly building up some sort of military. Look at it. 1,049 military strength. That is actually kind of impressive. Special session. Oh, no thanks. Ah. Uh, no, we don't want to go to war with with people. We're concentrating on India right now, and we're taking them out. How did this city-state emergency come to about, and everybody voted for no for it? It had to be Brazil or Congo. It couldn't be Congo. It had to be in Brazil that said, hey, I want to waste my diplomatic favor on proposing this city-state emergency, but I'm going to vote no against it. If you can walk Selling everything, basically, to get this observation bone, but we got it. Levy and mass. This is exactly what we need. Okay, wait. Let's actually see if we still need our loyalty cards. We're minus. We're plus six point five now. All oh, right, we can change things around. All right, there we go. Levy and mass. We'll do chivalry because we're trying to build some more cavalry to complete all of our armies, and then natural philosophy. Yes. What do we get? We got combustion. Oh, that is so good. That is really, really good. We got a promotion, finally! We get shells. Do we get anything? Yes, we got shells in both of them! I am really worried. I'm keeping our army right, you know, kind of, we're blocking the way because they have this Corsair army here, and I do not want it to attack our cores, our Bombard cores. So that's what, we're kind of blocking the way right here. Okay, yes! None of our units died! That is the best thing that just happened. Wait, what? How did this happen? I, what? What's going on? Wait, how does Brazil have zero combat strength? What's going on with this game? Oh, they're at war with Coupe and Australia. Oh, that's good. This is a big World Congress. There are some good resolution. Let's see what happened. No per, okay, no great engineers. That is fine. I voted for scientists. I really like the double scientists. Yes, we got plus five combat strength for light cavalry. Pedro gets two vic dip, dip, dip points. Come on, we can only vote for two because we've been selling all our diplomatic favor. Oh well. And the last one, World's Fair. Look at this. They just spawn a nice worker from us and then taking over their city. I mean, our city. We've had this forever. Come on, game. Four turns. 
15.4. Goodness. Another great person? Who do we get? Scientist. Hmm. Looks like nobody's really going for the scientist. 30 turns still. We're getting 26 per turn. We're getting so many great people points. I'm confident that if Einstein's next, which, oh no, he is. Okay, we'll still get it. Yeah, I'll still totally plan that. Another escape route. Okay, what do you got this time? Electricity secrets. Foot. Yes. Yes. Got it. Why was I pillaging all their stuff? What? What is absolutely wrong with us? Oh, okay, wait. We just finished that. We're going. I'm going right for chemistry. That's what we're going for. I want to get... Yes, I want to get research labs as soon as possible so we can just start crushing even more science. We're already at 188.3. We would be, what, 30-something higher if we could actually have some more policy cards? 33 higher. We're actually kind of... We should switch over to rationalism. But we would be 30 higher. So that's 200... And 10. 200, like, oh man, 220 basically. Coupe will give us gold for peace. Let's take it. We need another trade partner around here to get even more gold per turn. How are minus, minus gold per turn again? Didn't we just do a ton of trades? Like, what's going on with this game? Now they have infantry? Oh man. 459 gold for pillaging? What was that? Aqueduct? That is great. We actually need to upgrade one of our rage units to a fuel can because our bombard strength from our cities is, is so weak so it, this should help out with the issue the <gasps> what yes we got it we got oxford what uh, who cares about this what do we get class struggle okay research lab oh crap celestial navigation that is a waste rifling oh man <laughs> these are just technologies that were basically in like the ancient era. That was, uh, at least we got them, I guess. Now we are definitely leading with the science victory. 46 technologies, Brazil was second, and then Coupe. Oh, a plus five industrial zone? Oh, yes. I guess we're gonna get rid of that lumber mill. Oh, we can get Delhi's capital this turn. Let's do it. I mean, by Delhi's capital, I mean, India's capital and we're gaining loyalty that is the best thing yet oh this is great now we thoroughly decimated India let's just take their gold and make peace it has been a long time a long war coming and I think it's time to finally peace out rightfully take our city back should we pillage us yeah 486 gold let's definitely do that can we pillage anything else around here Oh, go back to this campus? 243 science? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> and then we just repair that salt right away. Oh, whoa, I almost replaced this. Because this is a plus seven industrial zone. Yes. I'm just kind of planning out the future of a space race. So we're building industrial zone right here. What was that, a plus five? A plus seven up here? We'll probably get another one win at this city and it's just going to be... We're going to have so much production, we're not going to know what to do with it all. In this city, we're building Ruhr Valley, but also, if we look on the map, where was it, Ruhr Valley? There are two results. One, and then two. Okay, let's see, look, 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 look a little close. Okay, they have like a little thing on top. Okay, I don't think we're going to get Ruhr Valley, so... I guess we'll just let that be an Eiffel Tower or something like that when we when we eventually don't get Ruhr Valley. Yeah, we got oil. Okay, there's some right here. Oh, that is excellent. Let's just move you right to the oil. Three sources. Woo. Oh, right below the campus. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. And then, wait, is this right below this campus too or the industrial zone? The campus. Wait, no. This one? Holy site. Three holy site. Okay. That's okay then. There we go, five-year plan. That is what we wanted. However, this is this following 3.6 per turn. Oh, man, five-year plan. Let's just see how good it actually is. 33 and 12, 43 for rationalism. Man, this hurts so bad. Uh, I guess we want to get the city. We, I'm kind of sick of flipping it, you know, honestly. And it has some nice oil now. So 
Uh, let's just do it. Clone new offices. Oh, man. I don't like that at all. Not at all. All right. It should be an additional five loyalty per turn. So next turn. What? We just give it five loyalty per turn. Come on, game. What's going on? Man, we're getting so much. Keep City. Oh, we got the Coupe City. This has some nice coal. That is what I like to see. And as expected, we could not get Revelli in time. So definitely, who got it? It was Brazil, right? Oh, Brazil. There it is, right there. What should we actually go for? I'm just thinking maybe we should just go. Yeah, we should probably just go for a research lab. 440 production. Hangers, 380. Coal power plants, 300. Everything else. Eiffel Tower, come on. We don't really need that. We're not cesarean of any city-states in this game. Let's just go for research lab. That'll be the most beneficial. I am super nervous. We need to, we're just going to buy over on two turns, but I'll show you it's only 10 turns away, so they're pretty cheap, Faith and gold-wise. Let's go ahead and use Albert Einstein. Right now, we're getting 226 science per turn. We don't really have too many. Well, I guess we do have quite a bit of universe, universities. Up to 264.6. That was, what, 40 science per turn just for that one great person. Sports. And we got professional sports. Let's take a look at our city that has the loyalty issued the whole game. Okay, what are they at now? Yes, plus 10.3. We could finally get rid of these crappy policies, of <laughs> these loyalty policies. Now the question is, what should we choose? Should we choose five-year plan where we get 17 production and 35 science? Or just go for science? Let's just go for science. Military emergency against us. What? Oh, let's actually vote. I don't want to do war. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do war. Let's just do eight. Let's just do our maximum. I don't want war right now because I guess I'll take it. Oh, whoa, it was super close. India. Okay, Coupe, obviously. And then Australia again. Oh, man. Oh, aluminum. Do we We have three aluminum sources? No way. Oh, is this right under the... Wait, no. It's right here. Oh, that's a good one. We need to, we need to get some workers. And another one. Okay, this one is right by our second city. This is really good. We'll build a worker right here right away. And where is that next one? Oh, it's right here, too. These are going to be some great tiles to work. More era score. Like, you know, we really need it right now. Oh, World's Fair is done? We got... Okay, we tried so hard for this. A civic boost. This World Congress is actually kind of boring. Militaristic City States gets more trade routes. Okay, siphon funds. Oh, that actually passed. That's good, because we are siphoning funds right now all over the world, because we are so poor. Cirrus got two diplomatic victory points. Let's see, Astroy's at 12, Pedro's at 12, Sirius is only at 10. Now that it's time to siphon some funds around the world, let's see who is the richest. Maybe Congo, or maybe, yeah, Congo? A 728, that's not very much. 800, we already have someone in their capital. Let's see, Brazil, 456, how poor are you? 440, wait, is this 1440? Done. We're, are we at 400 science return? Are we really at 400? Oh, we just got bombers. We're at 400 science return. That is just so good. And we're, we're like missing out. We, we don't have, we just have one science policy slot. That, oh my goodness. We could have another 35, so it would be 435. Atomic era, and we got a golden era. This is the best time ever. We had so many. We had 190 points. Oh, I don't know. We're we're probably 100% going to a dark era in the information era, which is the worst. Because if we get an actual gold there in information era, we get a free giant death robot. Whoa, look at this. Heroic, heroic, gold, gold. Everybody's in gold except for Persian India. I got a plan. I have a plan. We're doing wish you were here. <laughs> Just kidding. Because cities with governors and obviously we'd have no governors. Two arms, you know... Nah, we're good. Harpy the Steam would be a good. Bodyguards of Lies lets us steal all the gold we can around the world. Only 55 turns for a spaceport. What a deal. Should we have it flood? Hmm, do I like that possibility? Oh, there's a dam there. Let's, ha let's, let's have it flood away. Take it to the skies. We're the first one, so we got a nice five-year score. All uranium. Do we have it? We do. 
Oh, do we have any more? Oh, we do. We're going to change up our policies. We're getting, how actually, we're at 497.6 science return. Is that too much science? Let me think here. If we get giant death robots and build like three of them. Okay, capital, capital. Two giant death robots can easily take over both of these when they're fully upgraded in about four or five turns. Then we just have Rio de Janeiro, which is this right here. It's pretty weak. Okay, never mind. We're going to keep with the awesome science return. Okay, we can't get open borders with Congo, but look, at this is actually a decent enough spot to get this science. Let's line up some technologies. Oh, we already do. We have it to giant death robots. Let's see how far we get. Lasers done. Yes, we did it. We unlocked giant death robots. Oh, oh wait, do we steal great works? Goodness, that's always that's always a lot of fun when you do that. Let's see how expensive these things are. 6,000 gold. What's that, like four turns with our awesome spies? We're going to change our policies. We're going to cut back in the science a little bit right now because we're already getting 537 per turn. We can go for five-year plan, get the extra production in the cities that matter. Finish our first spaceport, winneth our capital. Let's see how long it takes here. Only 12 turns. That's not too many turns now. Let's see how we're doing among the world rankings. We're still crushing it in science. 62 technologies compared to Coupe's 56. And look at this, India's 41. The only other thing that's kind of close is Australia's 13 out of 20 diplomatic victory points. The information error just came. Unfortunately, we're not able to snag a golden era. Okay, we found. Oh, we're finding everything. That's why we found everything. We finally launched our Earth satellite. Now the whole map is revealed. Look at this map. So beautiful. I want to see. Okay, Congo and Australia the whole game. That is what's going on. Oh, another one. Launching the moon landing. Let's see this thing go off. Oh, a nice advertisement in the background from our... Our city. There's Mars Colony. Almost done with this game, basically. Let's go right to the last one that we need. We should have it. There are 17 turns. 2100 production. You know what we can do? Where are you? Where's Carl Sagan? 3000. Boom. Done in the same turn. Oh, take that game. Let's look at our science victory. Overall, 71 technologies. We basically have all the technologies we need. And we are done. We're one light year per turn. And next turn, we can actually do the off-world mission. Seven per turn. We're at 43 out of 50. Let's look here in this game. No governments ever chosen. No governors ever chosen. And let's do this. We only got one turn left. You know, Brazil, you've been kind of a pain. Let's see. We can't do a Casa Spell. Let's just declare a surprise war. Take that Brazil for being kind of a pain this game, but actually for being a good friend. <laughs> this is kind of what happens in all the games I, I do. Every time it's a good friend, I guess we kind of just crush him in the end. Victory. No governor. No governors. No no government. You don't need any of all those policy slots and stuff like that. Ranking 10th place. Nailed it. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, wait, we, we, wait, we got graphs. Let's see here. Total governors. Okay, <laughs> we're not even on the map. Are we even? Yeah, we're not even. We're literally not on there with total governors. But we are definitely on there with player science. Look at how much has skyrocketed. This had to be when we got Albert Einstein right there. All right, thank you so much for watching this video.